children. Hello, children. Hello, children. Awesome. How have we all been doing? I trust that our week has been going beautifully, right? Right. And I believe that we've all been good boys and girls doing all what mommy and daddy asked us to do. Beautiful. Now let's roll it for ourselves because we have all been good and obedient children. Let's roll it for ourselves. Roll and clap. Wonderful. Now let me ask us a question. Do we remember our Bible hero? Let me give you one hint. Our Bible hero was a lady, a girl. I trust that the girls remember our Bible hero. And I believe that the boys also remember. Yes, Miriam. And do we remember the topic? Beautiful. Courage in hard times. And I believe that we all have been courageous during the week. Helping mommy and daddy out with our younger ones, with our younger brothers and sisters. Beautiful. And we have been doing what we should do without mommy or daddy telling us to do it. Wonderful. Let us roll it for ourselves one more time. Roll and clap. And I believe that we all enjoyed ourselves when doing our assignment, our homework. Beautiful. Our children are good, obedient children. Wonderful. And now, are you ready to praise God? Are you ready to praise the Lord? Awesome! Now, children, let's worship God. Dance to the left and to the right. Beautiful! Awesome! Yay! Yes, not double, double. Hey, my God 
like a winner man yes we all dance like a winner man now I look to mommy and daddy and say daddy look at me I dance like a winner man oh. yeah, yeah I dance for Jesus look to mommy and say mommy look at me I dance like a winner man oh. Now say you are Savior. 
children thank you for sending your homework last week you guys are awesome so we got the submission from Emissy wow see how you so beautifully colored Miriam and the baby Moses wonderful also from Iremide wow see how easily you were able to get to the baby Moses wonderful also we've got this beautiful coloring from Funom Dega wow Funom you are such an artist and we have from Shira Nom Dega wow you were able to find all these words so easily you must be so brilliant now from Tom Nom Dega you were able to get to the baby Moses from the princess. Wow, you're so, so good. And from Funom, wow, you easily also got to the baby Moses. Amazing. Then from Toby Loma, wow, it seemed like it was a little hard, but eventually you got it. You got to baby Moses. Congrats. And from Iremide, Wow, you were able to get all these words. Thank you so much, children. Please keep sending your homework and God bless you. And now, children, let us pray. And what do we do when we want to pray? Hands together, eyes closed. Again, hands together, eyes closed. So now, let us put our hands together and close our eyes. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, let's shout Amen louder. In Jesus' name, dear Lord, we thank you for our mommies and our daddies and our entire families. We thank you for providing for us and for our teachers and their families we thank you for not making us fall sick for keeping us dear lord we ask that as our teachers teach us today that you grant them wisdom to teach us well and grant us wisdom also to be able to understand all that we are going to be taught today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed and we shout a very loud Amen. Beautiful. And now let us sit down quietly and listen to today's lesson let us sit down quietly and listen to today's lesson so children let us sit down quietly and listen to today's lesson We 
going to be learning a lot of things today. But before we start our learning, I want to teach us a song. It's a very short song and it's simple. It just goes O B E Y. Obey your mom and dad. That's the title of the song. So- well, O B E Y. They say, obey your parents every day and go, be, be, why obey your mom and dad? Oh, be, be, why obey your mom and dad? Oh, be, be, why makes them very glad? Listen to the words they say, obey. Yes, so that's our obedience song. Today we're going to learn about obedience. And basically that song has already even kind of given us some insight into what obedience is all about. It's about obeying. Like mommy tells you what to do, you do it. So today we're talking about another young Bible hero. And today's hero is Samuel. And we're learning all about obedience. Okay, so Samuel is a young hero because he was a young boy like you. So now obedience is when we respect listen to what we're being told to do and we do it and obedience is very important in everything we do whether it's at home or in school or anywhere we find ourselves on the road or anywhere we are and as children of God we receive beautiful gifts from God when we obey him and our mommies and daddies just imagine how God will be so happy in heaven when we do the things that he wants us to do. Another thing to also know is that when we are obedient, we will always stay out of trouble. Imagine if you do the same. Mommy says, sit down. And you sit down. Will mommy beat you? Or will mommy say you should go back to go to your room? Or will mommy take your toys from you? Mommy won't do that. Daddy won't do that. And you won't get into trouble. Everybody will be happy. Mommy will be happy. Daddy will be happy. And God will be very happy when we do obey. And so that's the same thing that happened to Samuel. So I'm going to tell you a story about Samuel. A very long time ago, there was a woman, a lady. Her name was Hannah. And she knelt down and prayed to God. And she asked God, for a baby and promise God that if he gives her a baby when the baby was big enough he'll give God back the baby and so you know how God is God always hears our prayers so not so long after that God blessed Hannah with a beautiful son like oh my god he was so fine he was so fine and let's just like how you are so fine that's how just imagine how you are when you're a baby and yes, you're fine. That's how God just gives Hannah a beautiful son. And so she named him Samuel. And the meaning of his name Samuel meant Godhead. Isn't that awesome? And so when Samuel became a good big boy, who can remember the promise his mommy made? Mm-hmm. That's correct. So Hannah remembered that she had promised God. And then she prepared to fulfill it. She had promised God that she was going to give him Samuel when he was a big boy so she took Samuel to the temple church and gave him to Eli Eli was like the pastor they called him a priest in that time and gave him to Eli and said that he'll be his helper that he'll be staying with him and so they started staying together and Samuel was a very good boy to help and do all the good things and then one night imagine just close your eyes imagine you are lying down your bed you are sleeping. Maybe you are even snoring. You are sure enjoying your sleep very well. And then all of a sudden, you just hear your name. So that's what happened Samuel. All of a sudden, he just heard his name. Samuel. Ah, ah. He was surprised. Ah, ah. Who is calling me? So he just sat up and he looked around. Imagine looking around your bed. Be wondering in your room. Ah, ah. Who is calling me? So Samuel stood up. And thought, oh, most likely it's Eli. Eli must be calling me. So he stood up and went to meet Eli. And asked, oh, Eli, I'm here. Do you want me? Do you call me? 
and then Ella was wondering, ah, why is Samuel was, like I didn't call you now? I said, no, I didn't call you. Then she go back to bed. So Samuel went back to bed, and then he started sleeping again. Close his eyes. Are you to close your eyes? Imagine you're the one. Close your eyes. And then he heard again, Samuel. So he stood up again. He looked around. He didn't see anybody. And so he went back to Eli. He ran straight to Eli's room. And Eli was tired and grumpy. I was like, no, I didn't call you. Go back to your bed. Go and sleep. Stop waking me up. You know when you're sleeping and you're enjoying your sleep and somebody's coming to wake you and disturb you. Like how mommy used to wake you and disturb you to go to school. That's how someone was just disturbing Eli. When Eli wanted to sleep. And so he went back to his room. And then he heard his name again. Samuel. And then he went back to Eli again. And then Eli just realized that, oh, he might be God that is calling this young boy. So he told Samuel, next time you hear your name again, just say, I am listening, God. Speak to me. Okay, so Samuel, if it's you, won't be excited for God to hear you, speak to you. So Samuel went back to his bed and laid down. And then God called his name again. And this time, Samuel didn't run to Eli's room because he knew who was calling him. So he told God, God, speak, I'm listening. And then Samuel listened. He listened to all God had to say, God's words. God talked to him about things to come. Imagine God telling you about something that's going to happen tomorrow before it happens. Like, mom, God will tell you what's going to happen, where you're going to go to, what's going He told him everything. And so, Samuel listened. And then when Samuel woke up and saw Eli, Eli asked him, Samuel, what did God talk to you about? And so, Samuel told Eli everything God told him. He told Eli the truth, even though that he knew that Eli would not be happy about some of those things. Some of the things that God told him about Eli were not, some, were not so good. And that's how all the days of his life, every day, Samuel still obeyed God. And he became a prophet. A prophet, we've talked about him a long time ago, about a prophet being a messenger of God. That means God could send him to do things for him. And Samuel continued to obey God, even when he was very old. One time, God called Samuel to go to the house of J.C. Does anybody remember who J.C. is? In Bethlehem? Okay, so J.C. is the father of King David. You know King David that we talk about and we dance about? So J.C. was the father of King David. And God told Samuel, who was his prophet, his messenger, to go to the house of J.C. and to anoint one of his sons to be king. Samuel did as God told him to do. And he went to anoint David as a new king. So Samuel loved God, he respected God, and he obeyed God all his life. And I'm sure you can imagine how God felt about Samuel. Can you guess? Of course, God was so, so happy with him. So now, back to us. If God was happy with Samuel as he, because he always obeyed God, we too must learn from Samuel and always obey God, so God will be always happy with us. Yes. So, as children of God, we must be patient. We must not be in a hurry every time, wanting to run up and down. And we must be careful to listen. Because sometimes if we don't stop and listen, we will not hear what God is saying. And we're just going to do the wrong things. So we must be careful, sit down, listen, hear God's voice and His instruction. And then we will do the right things. And yes, and make sure that we don't do the wrong things. We must be very patient to listen, to be sure that, oh, it is God talking to us. And this is what God wants us to do. Yes. And so we must always remember that obedience is the way to show God that we love him. We cannot be using our mouth to say, oh, I love God. If I say, oh, everybody in the class, raise up your hand if you love Jesus. If you raise up your hand and then you now go and do the things that God does not love. Does that show you love God? And it's even the same with our parents. If we say we love our parents, if mommy and daddy say sit down and you don't do it, you're not showing them that you love them. So 
So yes, that is our beautiful story today. I want all of us to always remember the story about Samuel, about how Samuel became to a very big, important prophet in God's kingdom because he obeyed God. And so we too must always obey God so that God can use us to be big, important people that will do good things and great things for him. Amen. So now is our question time. Let me see if you've been listening to all the story and everything we've been talking about. So my question number one, what is obedience? Yes, you can say it. Say it out loud. What is obedience? What do you think? What does it mean to obey? Awesome. Very good. Now number two, did someone obey the Lord? Hmm. What do you think? Did you obey God? Yes. And then my last question. Who did Samuel live with in the temple? Yes, think about it. Who did I talk about that? Was Samuel had to be running to go and wake him up in the night. Who did Samuel live with in the temple? <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's awesome. Yes, that's very correct. Hello children, it's memory verse time. So our memory verse is taken from Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. Let me say it again. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. So say after me. As I obey God's every word, I become a leader. I am the head and not the tail. Let's say it again. As I obey God's every word, I become a leader. I am the head and not the tail. Awesome. Clap for yourselves. So now it's time for our confession. We confess the word of God. So let's say after me. In the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. Speaks for me. As a child. Of the covenant nation. I am healthy and strong. My mind is sound and I have peace every day. Amen. So now is activity time. For our one year, one and two years old, we have a beautiful picture of Samuel lying down on his bed when God was calling him. So one mommy and daddy to help us, assist us to be able to get beautiful colors, to color the bed, color Samuel. And our memory verses are written at the bottom, so we should also remember that. And now for our three years old, we have a puzzle to solve. So we see Samuel at the top of the puzzle, and we have Eli at the bottom. So we're supposed to use our pencils to try and trace out the possible ways for how to get Samuel all the way to Eli. Yes, safely. And then for our four years old, this is very interesting. We have the dots. We have numbers. So we have numbers 1 up until 76. So you're supposed to move, use your pencils to join the dots. So from number 1 to 3 to 4 and to reveal a beautiful picture and then color it. Then our five-year-olds, we have a word search. So we have some words by the side. Ally, listen, prophet, speak, and some other words. You're supposed to search for those words and circle them out. So all these um, assignments are the PDF and JPEG links for this worksheet. So I found that description of this video. You can download them. And then afterwards, please, mommy and daddy, send them to us at thecovenantnationkids at gmail.com. Thank you. I trust that we all understood all that we were taught today. And now, let us say the grace together. But before we say the grace, I trust that we all understand our homework and that we will do it wonderfully well.
beautiful. So now, let us say the grace together. And what do we do when we want to say the grace? We put our right hands on our chest. Again, we put our right hands on our chest. And now, let us put our right hands on our chest and say after me, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And now let us also say, surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all of the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen and we'll also say again the lines have fallen unto me and yes i have a goodly heritage of the lord awesome let us roll it for ourselves one more time. Roll and clap. Beautiful. Let us not forget our homeworks again. Okay. See you all next time. Bye.